why different eye colors have emerged. Does that color ever change? Yes. What if the color of your eyes is more than just an accident of genetics? What if every shade, whether a deep chestnut brown, a piercing northern blue, or a rare flecked green, carries with it a secret record of migrations, survival, and ancestry stretching back tens of thousands of years? Is there any clear evolutionary explanation? Yeah, it's uh, protection from... From the golden light of the Mediterranean to the stormy skies of the Baltic, human eyes have always reflected the environments, challenges, and histories that shape the people behind them. In this video, we're diving deep into how eye color is tied not only to DNA, but to ancient climates, health, culture, and even myths that still echo today. And as we go, I want you to think about your own eyes, because the story written in them might be far older than you realize. Before we get started, look in the mirror. What's your eye color, and where does your ancestry trace back to? Drop your answer in the comments right now. I guarantee you'll find people from all over the world with the same shade as you. And if you love uncovering the hidden history inside us, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us here at The Stone and Bone, because this is just the beginning. At first glance, eye color seems simple brown, blue, green. But the real story? It's survival, migration, and adaptation written in your iris. Here's the science. It all comes down to melanin, the pigment that acts like built-in sunglasses. Lots of melanin, your eyes look dark. Less melanin, your eyes appear lighter. But the plot twist is in your DNA. Two genes, OCA2 and HERC2, work like dimmer switches, deciding how much melanin you get. And those switches didn't just flip randomly. They were tuned by survival, near the equator. Sunlight was brutal. Dark eyes were nature's shield. Farther north, winters were long, sunlight weak. Lighter eyes may have helped people see better in the dark. Even hormones play a role. Research shows blue eyes are more common in men while higher estrogen in women leans toward darker shades. Before we move on, pause and check your reflection. Do your eyes lean dark, light, or somewhere in between? Drop your eye color in the comments and let's see which team wins here. Now, rewind 100,000 years. If you looked into the eyes of the very first modern humans, you'd see just one color, brown. For tens of thousands of years, brown eyes weren't just common, they were universal. Packed with melanin, they gave early humans in Africa a serious edge, protecting their vision from the harsh equatorial sun. Without that pigment, blindness and UV damage would have been a death sentence. And even today, brown still dominates. Nearly 80% of the world has them. In places like Sub-Saharan Africa or East Asia, it's closer to 99%. But brown isn't always just brown. Some shades are so dark they look black until sunlight hits and reveals golden or reddish undertones. Now here's where history gets interesting. In Southern Europe, Spain, Italy, Greece, 70 to 90% of people still have brown eyes, but push north into Sweden or Finland and that number crashes to 20 to 30%. Why? Two reasons, climate shape survival. History shaped DNA. For centuries, Southern Europe mixed with North Africa through trade, migration, even war, carrying darker genes northward. Meanwhile, Northern Europe stayed more isolated, giving lighter eyes a chance to spread. So the next time you see brown eyes, remember, you're looking at humanity's original blueprint, the first story ever written in our DNA. About 7,000 to 10,000 years ago, something wild happened in Europe. A single mutation flipped the script. Blue eyes appeared for the first time. Here's the kicker. Blue eyes don't actually have any blue pigment. Instead, with less melanin, light scatters inside the iris, like the sky scattering sunlight. That's why they look blue. 
One famous case, Cheddar Man, a 10,000-year-old hunter-gatherer from England. DNA shows he had dark skin and striking blue eyes. Proof that this mutation spread fast through Ice Age Europe. Today, only about 8-10% to of the world has blue eyes. But in Northern Europe, they're everywhere. Whole towns in Scandinavia and around the Baltic Sea are filled with them. Why did they survive? One theory, low light vision. In those dark winters, lighter eyes may have helped people see better at dawn and dusk. A 2024 study even found that blue-eyed individuals performed better in low-light hunting than people with darker eyes. And thanks to European explorers and empires, the blue-eyed gene traveled far, across the Americas, Australia, and beyond. Now, 15-30% to 30 of North Americans have blue eyes. In Latin America, it's just 1-10%, to 10 mostly from European ancestry. If you've got blue eyes, drop a blue heart in the comments. Let's see how far this Ice Age mutation really spread in our audience. Between the common brown and the rare blue, there's a spectrum that feels almost magical. Hazel and amber. Hazel eyes? Think of them as shapeshifters. Only about 5% of the world has them. But in the US, it jumps to 18%, thanks to mixed ancestry. Depending on the light, hazel eyes can flash green, gold, or deep brown, like stained glass catching the sun. That effect comes from moderate melanin, plus a yellow pigment called lipochrome. Hazel tends to show up where populations have long mixed. Iberia, Spain, and Portugal is a hot spot. One study found over 50% of people there had hazel green tones. They also pop up in North Africa, the Middle East, and Brazil. Now, amber eyes are a whole different story. Sometimes called wolf eyes, they shine with a golden, copper glow, far more uniform than hazel. Pure amber is rare, around 5% globally, clustering in Southern Europe, the Middle East, and the Caucasus. Fun fact, amber isn't unique to humans. Wolves, owls, eagles, and cats often have the same golden hue. No wonder folklore saw amber-eyed people as mysterious, untamed, even wild. Hazel Crew, drop this emoji. Amber Crew, drop this emoji. Let's see how rare these shades really are among us. If any eye color has carried an air of mystery, it's green. Only about 2% of the world's population has truly green eyes, making them one of the rarest natural shades on Earth. But in certain places, green eyes are far more common, almost like a regional signature. In Ireland, Scotland, and Iceland, surveys reveal unusually high rates. In Iceland specifically, about 18-20% to 20 of women and 8-10% to 10 of men have green eyes, showing an intriguing sex-linked difference. Among Americans of European descent, people with Celtic or Germanic heritage show the highest rates, around 16%. So what creates green eyes? It's a delicate balance, moderate amounts of melanin, plus the same yellow pigment, lipochrome, that colors hazel combined with blue light scattering in the iris. The result isn't a flat, uniform shade, but a layered effect, where green seems to glow through. Historically, green eyes appeared where populations with blue and brown ancestry overlapped. Ancient DNA studies suggest they existed in Eurasia as far back as the Bronze Age. A 2009 study concluded that ancient groups in southern Siberia likely carried green or blue eyes, light skin, and fair hair, traits that later blended into Central Asian civilizations. Culturally, green eyes have always stood apart. In medieval Europe, they were sometimes associated with witchcraft or sorcery. In art and literature, green eyes became symbols of temptation, allure, or envy, the origin of the phrase green-eyed jealousy. And in modern genetics, they remain somewhat of an enigma. No single gene fully explains them, making green eyes a kind of unfinished puzzle in human evolution. If you've got green eyes, you're part of an incredibly rare group. Drop this green heart in the comments. And if you're from Ireland, Scotland, or Iceland, let us know.
If blue eyes are uncommon, then gray eyes take rarity one step further. Depending on the study, they may be as rare as 1% of the global population, or at most 3%, making them contenders for the rarest natural shade of all. At first glance, gray eyes can look pale blue, but up close, they reveal something entirely different, a smoky, silvery cast, often flecked with hints of yellow or brown. Scientifically, gray eyes share the same low melanin structure as blue eyes, but researchers think an extra factor is at work. People with gray eyes seem to have more collagen fibers in the stroma, the front layer of the iris. These fibers scatter light in a way that mutes the blue, shifting it toward gray. In other words, gray eyes aren't just a lighter blue, but a completely different scattering effect. Geographically, gray eyes are most often found in Northern and Eastern Europe. Countries around the Baltic Sea, as well as Scandinavia and Russia, show the highest percentages. Archaeological evidence suggests some Vikings may have had gray eyes, spreading the trait as they traveled. But gray eyes also show up in unexpected places. Among the Shoia Berbers of Algeria, gray or gray-blue eyes appear at higher rates than one might expect in North Africa. They can also be seen occasionally in Iran, Afghanistan, and northern India, likely reflecting ancient migrations and gene flow from Eurasia. Because of their rarity and unusual appearance, gray eyes are often perceived as striking, mysterious, or otherworldly. They're the kind of eye color that catches attention instantly because they're so uncommon. Gray-eyed viewers, you're the rarest of the rare. Drop this gray heart emoji in the comments if you've got them. Let's see how many of you are watching. Beyond the familiar spectrum of brown, blue, hazel, green, amber, and gray, there are eye colors and conditions so rare they almost seem unreal. One of the most striking is heterochromia, when a person has two different colored eyes, or even patches of contrasting color within the same iris. Sometimes this is purely genetic. Other times, it can result from injury or medical conditions. Throughout history and pop culture, heterochromia has been a source of fascination. Rulers, actors, and musicians have all been remembered for their mismatched eyes, which often became a defining part of their identity. Then there's albinism, a condition where melanin is almost entirely absent. Without pigment, eyes can appear pale blue, violet, or even pinkish red as the blood vessels inside the eyes shine through. It's extremely rare, but it demonstrates just how dramatically eye color can vary when nature turns the dial all the way down. And of course, myths have sprung up around impossible shades. One internet legend, known as Alexandria's Genesis, describes people born with naturally violet eyes, supposedly blessed with long life, perfect health, and beauty. There's no scientific evidence that such a genetic condition exists, but the persistence of this myth shows how much symbolism and wonder cultures attach to eye color. Finally, let's not forget newborns. Many babies are born with blue or gray eyes, only to see them darken over the first year of life. That's because melanin production doesn't fully switch on until after birth. Watching a child's eyes change color is like watching evolution in miniature an echo of how entire populations shifted over millennia. So whether it's mismatched eyes, pigment loss, or myths of violet irises, these ultra rare cases remind us of one simple truth. Eye color is never just cosmetic. It's biology, but it's also storytelling, a way that human diversity shows itself in the most unexpected ways. Now, let's step beyond ancestry and look at how eye color might connect to health, performance, and even perception. First, the science. Lighter eyes, blue and gray, tend to be more sensitive to sunlight. They may also carry a higher risk of macular degeneration later in life. Darker eyes, rich in melanin, offer greater natural protection against UV radiation. But studies also suggest they may be slightly more prone to cataracts. There are other surprising connections too. A 2014 study found that women with lighter colored eyes reported higher pain tolerance 
during childbirth compared to women with darker eyes. In sports science, researchers observed that athletes with darker eyes often have faster reaction times, possibly because the extra melanin absorbs light more efficiently. And then there's the cultural side. For centuries, people have assigned personalities to eye colors. Brown eyes equals warmth, reliability, strength. Blue eyes equals innocence, openness, calm. Green eyes equals mystery, jealousy, allure. Gray eyes equals wisdom, distance, or even coldness. Of course, these are stereotypes, not scientific truths. But they still influence how people see each other, and sometimes even how we see ourselves. For most of human history, eye color was something you simply inherited, shaped by genes, environment, and migration. But today, science is pushing into completely new territory. Cosmetic procedures now exist that can surgically alter the iris, either by inserting implants or using laser treatments to reduce melanin and create lighter shades. Controversial? Absolutely. But it shows how far people are willing to go to change something once thought untouchable. Even more revolutionary is the rise of genetic editing. With tools like CRISPR, the idea of designer eyes is no longer pure science fiction. In theory, parents could one day choose their child's eye color as easily as picking paint from a palette. But this raises deep ethical questions. Should beauty be engineered? And what happens to cultural identity when eye color, once tied so closely to ancestry, becomes a matter of choice? Meanwhile, the natural future of eye color may be heading toward more blending. As populations around the globe continue to mix, extreme concentrations of blue in Scandinavia or deep brown in Africa, are gradually giving way to intermediate shades like hazel and green-brown. Some geneticists predict that by the end of this century, hazel-like combinations may become far more common worldwide, replacing the isolated dominance of certain colors in specific regions. So, the eyes of the future may not just reflect the past, they may also reveal how humanity itself is reshaping, blurring boundaries, and redefining what it means to look human. When you look in the mirror, your eye color might feel like a small detail, but it carries a story that began long before you were born. Brown eyes trace back to the dawn of humanity in Africa, our species' original blueprint. Blue eyes emerged in the Ice Age, then spread across the globe with explorers and settlers. Green eyes remain one of the rarest shades, a mix of myth and genetic mystery. Hazel and amber remind us of diversity and blending, Gray eyes whisper of ancient migrations and stand as one of the rarest hues on Earth. And ultra-rare cases like heterochromia, albinism, or violet myths show us that nature is still experimenting. Even today, evolution continues at work, shifting, blending, and reshaping what we see in each other's faces. And with science advancing, eye color could one day be not just an inheritance, but a choice. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What's your eye color? And where does your ancestry trace back to? Share your story in the comments. I promise, you'll be surprised how many others connect with it. And if you enjoyed this journey into the hidden history written in our eyes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us here at Stone and Bone for more stories that reveal the past hiding inside all of us.